Office's Facebook ad party time is more likely to convert, but with my Facebook ad that I run from last week, it's active but gets zero impression because I've made some mistake and unfortunately, my Facebook ad is not delivering. If you ever stare at your screen, wondering why your ad generates zero impression, you're in the right place. Don't fret because by the end of this video, you'll know all the reasons for Facebook ad not delivering and exactly what I did to get my ads delivered. For those who have Facebook ads that are not delivering, a second can seem like an eternity. So stick around and let's dive right in. For those of you who are new to the game, here's the scoop. Similar to TikTok ads not delivering, Facebook ad not delivering means that your ads are active but currently not generating any impression. Simply navigate the delivery column in Ad Manager and you will see the status. Overall, there are 8 main reasons for this problem and I put them all right here on the screen. Now for the first reason, I've got to say that due to some special reason, Facebook may disapprove and stop delivering your ads. Just like there are countless stars in the night nice sky, there are as many reasons for Facebook ads getting rejected. However, we've created a list of some prevalent ones. Three, including issues related to prohibited and restricted categories, non-existent functionality policy, and personal attributes. To keep you informed, Facebook will notify you through the delivery column in your Ads Manager or send an email if you sign up for notification for Facebook. In this scenario, it's better to carefully review your ad creative and make the necessary adjustment to ensure it aligns with Facebook requirement. As a result, your ads will undergo a re-evaluation process that typically take 24 hours. However, if you are confident that your ads adhere to all Facebook guidelines, yet they continue to face rejection, apply for a manual review to prove that the rejection was a mistake. Simply head to Ad Manager, click Request Review button on the Account Quality page. Pass the next reason for Facebook ads not delivering, learning phase. It happens when you create a new ad or ad set to make significant changes to an existing one. During this phase, Facebook tests different ways of optimizing your ads to find the combo of creative audience targeting, time and place for maximizing conversion. That's why your ad performance may be less stable and your cost per result could be higher than expected. You'll know easily when you check the learning status in the delivery column and look at the progress bar showing how close you are to completing it. To exist this phase, Facebook requires you to accumulate 50 triggered optimization events. For example, if you had selected to optimize your campaign for purchase conversion when you created the campaign, you would need 50 purchase events and so is the same for to cards. And when you can't gain the needed optimization events, 50 as I said before, you'll end up with a delivery issue. In case this happens, you might need to reconsider your target audience, creative, and optimization goal. Here's a pro tip. Change your conversion event to another easier to reach. For example, if you choose purchase conversion, you could try something closer like add to cart events. You might not achieve your ultimate conversion goal if you use events that are higher up your sales funnels. However, please keep in mind that as you go forward, only make changes in case your ads can't generate enough events to pass the learning phase. If you notice that your ads are struggling to get delivered or your campaign is having great results, then just leave your campaign as it to avoid make any changes to your ads during this time because it can affect the length of the learning phase. Now, move on to the next reason for Facebook ads not delivering, the reviewing process. Facebook guidelines state that the review process is done within 24 hours. However, we've seen anywhere between 24 and 48 hours. In this case, there's simply nothing to do but wait for Facebook to push the campaign along. If your ads have been stuck in review for more than 24 hours, you can submit a request for them to be manually reviewed. Another thing that can affect Facebook's delivery system is your bid and budget. Very simple, if you set a too low budget and bid, you 
cannot compete with other brands and cannot reach your target audience, and then you're likely to not see any conversion from your campaign. To solve this issue, reconsider your marketing budget and set a more realistic budget for your Facebook ads. Here's the way to calculate a good budget, at least to get out of the delivery phase. Start with one third of your CPA of your conversion of choice as a daily budget and then gradually increase from there. For example, if your CPA is $30, then start with a daily budget of 10 and then gradually grow it to 15 until you see your desired results. Do not scale your budget too quickly, like from $10 to $100, as it will affect Facebook algorithm and also your ad's performance. Also with the ad sets, try to allocate enough budget for your chosen optimization event. Some optimization events may require more budget than others, depending on how difficult they are to achieve. For example, if you optimize for purchases, you may need to allocate more budget than if you optimize for landing page views. For ad set budgets, most brands who are charged for impression should allocate at least $1 per day for daily budgets. Next, with your bidding strategy, if you use the cost cap or bid cap, adjust the amount you're bidding at a higher number. Facebook only charges for the minimum needed to win the auction, so bid a higher level can give you more chances to win ad spaces and prevent delivery problems. Here's a tip for you. Increase the bid to the maximum you can spend to know your highest scaling level. After that, try to gradually reduce the budget so that you can find the best scaling level to improve your ad performance and control your cost per result. Apart from your bid and budget, please review your audience size and is it an important factor that can lead to Facebook ad not delivering. There are two main issues that you might encounter, an audience that's too small or high option overlap. While it's true that setting a narrow target audience can help you reach the right potential customer, but don't make it too small. A good way to prevent this is to check the audience definition and size when creating a campaign. Like what you see in this image, we are targeting an audience of fewer than a thousand people. Running Facebook ads with such a tiny audience will result in it never leaving the learning phase and then lead to Facebook ads not delivering 100% for sure. To steer clear of this issue, aim for a green or yellow ranking in terms of audience size to ensure a smooth ad delivery and performance. That is all about small audience. High auction overlap means the opposite. If you have multiple ad sets with the same audience targeting setup, as a result, you will come into competition against yourself. To prevent this, Facebook will choose the ad that have the highest total value to win the auction. Other ads that are not as valuable will be paused to stop you from bidding against yourself. Another reason that can cause Facebook ads not delivering is the account spending limit. It's a budget threshold across all the ads campaign. Sometimes Facebook stop delivering your ads when you reach the spending limits. However, this error is easy to fix. You just need to go to Ad Manager and find the billing section and change the current account spending limit and your ads will start delivering again. With this last reason, I have to say that Facebook prioritizes high quality ads and as a result, the system will limit low quality ads with low engagement. So if your ads has a low relevant score, Unfortunately, TikTok will stop showing your ads to the audience. The best way to fix this issue is to continue creating better ads to outperform your competitors. Here are some creative tips provided by Facebook. Write them down right now to make ads more engaging. First, use a vertical or square aspect ratio to cover more of the audience screen. Second, keep your text short, clear, and concise to get your message across. Third, Add multiple images using the carousel format. It's a great opportunity if you have a lot of product or brand images. Fourth, add movement. And the last one, write catchy CTA to draw attention and encourage people to engage with your ads. We have just covered all the main reasons why your Facebook ads are not delivering and provided solutions on how to fix it. If you successfully identified and resolved your issues, congratulations on getting your ads back on track. 
However, be careful as there are some small mistakes that can still result in Facebook ad not delivering that you think that you might never make. First, scheduling errors. Always set a schedule with a valid date, ensuring that the start date is not in the future and the end date has not already passed. Second, ad placement selection. Make sure you don't forget Facebook and Facebook feed when setting up your placement. Missing these options can impact the visibility of your ads. And the final one, unavailable original post. If the original post is no longer available and the ad attached to it will stop delivering. In such cases, it's better to choose a different post to run your ads effectively. And that is all for today's video. Facebook ads not delivering can be a real head scratcher. But fear not, you're now armed with the knowledge on how to solve it. And if you're running advertising campaign across multiple channels and aim to collect actionable insights from all your ads, we've got your back with the latest version of NetAs to let you analyze accurate data from your advertising campaigns and uncover customer journey insights so that you can confidently make data-driven decisions to maximize return on ad spend and drive business growth. Check out the link in the video description and give it a try. Trust me, you won't regret it. If you've enjoyed this video and want more tips and tricks, hit that subscribe button and join our awesome community. Got questions of your own ads problem? Share them in the comments below. We're all in this ad adventures together. Goodbye and we'll see you in the next one.